Ed. Clancy helped ensure that the Great Britain track riders were able to put recent controversies behind them as the Team Pursuit squad won gold in the Manchester World Cup despite being without a coach. German Heiko Salzwittel was controversially dismissed from the role last month, although British cycling insists he remains on the payroll. Amid rumours that riders were unhappy at his management style, they certainly looked content as Clancy. Riding on the track for the first time since winning his third Olympic team pursuit gold in Rio, led his team to an impressive time of 3.55, 847 minutes, beating Denmark by almost six seconds. Ed Clancy led the great British team pursuit riders to victory at the Manchester World Cup. Whatever happens with Heiko, I don't know what's happening but I do know we won the Olympics in 2008 and 2009 we changed coach. 2012, we won the Olympics team pursuit again. 2013 we changed coach. 2014 we changed, said Clancy. It's just what sport looks like. Riders come and go and coaches come and go and performance staff come and go. Single quote. Fellow Rio champion Stephen Burke. Plus youngsters Kian Amati and Ollie Wood made up the winning GB team although true to form. The British downplayed the victory this far out from the next world championships. In Holland next spring, fellow Rio champion Stephen Burke, plus Kian Amati and Ollie Wood made up the winning team. I remember eight years ago we did a 3 minute 56 4 at the world championships here with Brad. Wiggins, Garen Thomas and Paul Manning and set a world record, said Clancy. We were beating our chests and high-fiving the crowd. Tonight, we've gone a second faster and we are not that happy with it. Single quote. World Cup events are an important qualifying points for world championships and Olympics and Saturday's racing brought another GB gold in the women's Madison. A new event for Tokyo 2020. Kate Archibald and Eleanor Barker turned in a magnificent performance to hold off reigning world champions Jolene de Horenlot Kopecky of Belgium.